Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you to my absolute favorite Persian lunch spot in Los Angeles, followed by some Persian ice cream for dessert. If you haven't already, push that subscription button and hit the bell button next to it to get notifications for upcoming videos. LA is home to one of the biggest populations of Iranians outside of Iran. It's even nicknamed Hiranjalis. So naturally we have many Persian restaurants and businesses here here, such as Atari Sandwich Shop. Located in a popular neighborhood officially named Persian Square in Westwood, California, Atari has been standing here and serving amazing food for decades. It's even been highly reviewed by LA Times, New York Times, and LA Weekly. We're very proud of that. Now, let's get to the food. We started with a special soup called Osh which is made of fresh herbs, beans, caramelized onions, fried mint, and topped with yogurt. This is a very hearty and delicious soup that is so comforting on chilly days, but honestly, it's so delicious. It will be satisfying any day of the year. Another appetizer we got is one of my absolute favorite Persian dishes, and they make it so good here at Atari. And it's called Kashke Badem Jun. It's basically a warm garlicky eggplant dip topped with a special Persian fermented whey sauce, a generous amount of fried mint and fried onions. I sometimes come here just for this appetizer. You can easily have it as a whole meal. It comes with bread, and so it's very filling. And if you're a vegetarian, you'll love this dish because it's one of the few Persian dishes that does not have meat in it. Kebabs are always a classic choice when you go out to eat Persian food. So, of course, we got some kebabs here. My favorite is their kobide, which is the ground meat kebab. And honestly, I personally think Atari makes some of the best kobides in town. And if you do have it here, I highly recommend ordering it with nun sangak instead of the rice. Sangak is a type of dark flour flatbread native to Iran. This is a very traditional way of eating kebab for lunch and because their meat is so juicy, the part of the bread that's right under the kebab gets so moist and marinated and it just gets packed with all the flavors from the kebab. And then along with the tomato and fresh basil and fresh onions that it comes with, it just becomes a feast in your mouth. Because we came here on a Friday, we got to eat their Friday specialty which I've never done before. And that is abgusht. Abgusht literally means water meat. It's one of Iran's most simple foods. It's even classified as peasant food, but it's also the most beloved favorite dish out of all of Iran. All Iranians love this dish. You cook lamb, potatoes, chickpeas, onions, and water, and some tomato paste. Uh, I'm sure there's turmeric in it too because all Persian dishes start with turmeric. Once everything has been slow cooked and the meat is shredding to pieces, you separate everything from the liquid, which becomes the soup. And you take all that meat and potatoes and beans and mash them up into a mash, basically. This is another one of those really comforting meals. My mom, my grandma made this for the whole family and everyone always loved it. I think what I really enjoyed when I was a kid was the mash part because it's like mashed potatoes, but there's meat in it too, and the chickpeas and the onions. So it's very flavorful and it's very hearty. And then you roll them up in a good piece of bread, some pickles, onions. Oh. But I've actually come to really enjoy the soup now as an adult too. What, what is it with soup that just becomes yummier when you become older? So good. Now let's not forget Atari is a sandwich shop. And what sandwiches are they most known for? Their beef tongue and their brain sandwiches. But they had run out of them by the time we got there because of high demand. So we ended up 
choosing a different type of sandwich, went for the sosis bandari. And sosis bandari is basically a sausage sub that is drenched in like a tomato sauce, like a Persian marinara sauce. We were so full by the time you got out because of all the other food that we ended up taking it home. By the time I ate the sandwich, I have to say, I wasn't that impressed by it. It lacked flavor and you know, sosis bandari is supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to have some heat in it. And this one just didn't seem to have a lot of flavors. There was no heat and it almost tasted, tasted like a hot dog and tomato sauce. So not my cup of tea, but all their other sandwiches are truly delicious. For dessert, it's become a tradition for me and my family and friends who visit to go across the street from Matsuri and have Persian ice cream. There are a couple of different ice cream shops in LA, but this one, Saffron and Rose Ice Cream Shop, is one of our absolute favorite, if not the favorite. It's a family business that has been run by two or three generations within their family, I believe. They opened shop in Iran before the revolution, and then they came to the US and opened shop, and it's been very successful. So creamy and uh, rich and sweet. They have so many different flavors now and experiment a lot to accommodate Western taste. But my all time favorite flavor here is their traditional saffron and pistachio. It's made out of saffron, of course, rose water, pistachios and, or pistachios, and chunks of heavy whipped cream. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and leave your feedback in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit that subscription button and hit the bell button next to it to get notifications for upcoming videos. Hope to see you in the next food vlog. Bye.